Hello, my name is Betty Gisela Chingimacas, student University Catholic Santiago de Guayaquil. My topic is Rivaroxone for thromboprophylaxis in high risk ambulatory patient with cancer. Definition Venous thrombolins is a frequent complication of cancer and cancer treatment with serious consequence for patients. Rivaroxvine is a, post, uh, a potent oral, highly selective direct inhibitor of factor FXA and is effective for primary and secondary thromboprophylaxis. Next, we will see a video. Yeah, so our study was designed to look at whether we can reduce uh, uh, thrombotic events in cancer patients. So cancer patients typically have very high risk for getting blood clots like a deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. And you can identify that risk based on a form of risk assessment score. So we use that risk score to identify high risk patients and then we randomize patients to either rivaroxaban 10 milligram once daily or placebo to see if using rivaroxaban would reduce the risk without increasing the risk of bleeding. Uh, it was 841 patients that were randomized. Uh, it, was a, it was a massive undertaking. It was uh, 11 countries, 143 study centers worldwide. Uh, but we were able to randomize 841 patients. Um, the study results, uh, we were able to show that with rivaroxaban, you could reduce uh, the number of thrombotic events substantially. But the real reduction occurred only during the time frame that patients were on treatment, but not uh, during the full study period. The reason for that was that about 40% of events in the study occurred in patients who had stopped taking the drug. I think that has implications for clinical practice moving forward. We really have to educate patients that they should stay on the drug for as long as uh, is, is feasible. Yeah, so the take home message is that um, cancer patients are at a high risk for, uh, for getting thrombotic events. We can predict that risk pretty successfully using a validated risk score. Uh, we can take high-risk cancer patients and give them a daily uh, dose of rivaroxaban 10 milligram once daily and reduce the risk substantially as long as patients uh, uh, take, take the drug. And we did not really have any safety concerns. Uh, major bleeding incidence was quite low, uh, and non-major bleeding incidence was also quite low. So, so we are reassured about safety. Application in nursing. When randoline a signet patient with hot death veins. Thrombosis and screen to recite Rivanoxvant at a dose of 10 mg or placebo daily for up to 180 days with screening every 8 weeks. Pros and cons. Rivanoxvant led to substantially lower evidence of such events with a low incidence of major bleeding. Major bleeding occurred in a of four under five patients receiving Rivaroxaban and four of four under four receiving placebo. Next we will see a video. Cancer patients who are at high risk of thrombosis can be given primary preventive treatment. But you've been looking into this experimentally. What did you find? What did you do indeed? Yeah, so today at ASH we reported results of a randomized clinical trial uh, taking high-risk patients and patients being high-risk for getting blood clots. We know they're high-risk based on a risk score that my colleagues and I developed about uh, seven years ago. And if they have a score of three or higher, they're at really high risk for getting clots. We took the high-risk patients and randomized them to receive deltaparin, which is a low molecular weight heparin, uh, given 5,000 units once a day for 12 weeks, or to observation. We found two things. One, we were screening these patients before they even started on the, on the study drug, and we found a very high rate of baseline blood clots. About 9% of patients already had a blood clot before they even started chemotherapy, and that's a really important finding, and it suggests that Cancer patients with a score of three or higher should really be screened for blood clots even before they start on treatment. A second thing we found was that the rate of VTE was very high in the observation arm. It was 21%, and it came down to 12% in patients who received uh, deltaparin. 
What do you think this implies then for future therapy? Uh, I think it uh, strongly suggests that cancer patients at high risk can have that risk reduced by using a blood thinner. Uh, our, our, this study that we reported today is using an, a self-injection of low molecular weight heparin. Uh, an ongoing study of risk cutoff of two or higher is using rivaroxaban versus placebo in, in a global study, about 700 patients, and hopefully we'll be able to report on that uh, next time we meet. So what should clinicians take home from your research findings? Um, there is a validated risk assessment tool. It can be used to find patients at high risk for blood clots. They can be at high risk or maybe even have a clot before they start on chemotherapy, so consider screening for those patients, and consider using prophylaxis in the high-risk patients to prevent blood clots. Issue up in Ecuador. Since 2009, to nail oral anticoagulants have been marketed in Ecuador for the prevention of adult ATV. Davancing the products are direct and reversible thrombin inhibitor and rivaroxaban Saralto a direct FH8 inhibitor. In conclusion, I have read ambulatory patient with cancer treatment with rivaroxaban did not result in some significantly lower incidence of venous thromboembolemes of the due to venous thromboembolemes in the 118 days throughout period during the intervention period rivaroxaban less to a substantively lower incidence of such events with a lower incidence of major breathing. Thank you very much.